Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, we are out at uh, one of our in-laws' uh, blueberry farms with, in the background, this is Willow. Hi, Willow. She's a beautiful horse. She likes blueberries too, but fortunately they have lots of blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so uh, we've been out picking blueberries. It's a beautiful day here. Um, gosh, it's been a gorgeous day. Yes, we got yes. we got a lot done today. We Ooh, uh, don't be nibbling on me. <laughs> okay. We started this morning uh, at a community care day. Mm -hmm. We were cleaning up um, one uh, of the uh, middle schoolers yeah, schools middle with schools. our church. Yeah, we were helping our church uh, do some yard work and uh, a lot of bark dust. Yeah, a lot of weeds. <laughs> a lot of weeds. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's that time for kids to get going back to school, so it's mm -hmm. great to help the schools out and make sure they're, they're ready to go. Yep. And uh, also today we started um, our focus for this week, which uh, our life hack is composting. And composting in the city is a little different than out here in the country where you've got lots of room. Um, composting a city, very, very tight space. And so uh, we we had one composting uh, bin. Right. Well, it's not really a bin, it's a barrel. Barrel, yes. Yeah, we Same converted, way. water barrel <laughs> converted to a uh, composter. And we decided we want to add another one. And so we're gonna show you how to do that in this video. And we built kind of like a double decker, which is kind of yep. cool. Uh, and the idea is we could put our fresh compost in the first bin and kind of our more mature compost in the in the top bin that's ready to go into our garden mm -hmm. um, because we're going to need to start <laughs> no you're trying to, we're going to need to start um, getting ready for fall and winter crops and uh, and uh, adding some more bins anyway so uh, we're glad you're uh, joining us this week and um, we're going to get to building some compost all right So as you can see, we've got our frame put together. Um, we've got a couple cross pieces we need to put in for the top barrel, but we'll, before we do that, we're gonna put the bottom barrel in first and we've got some casters um, that we are gonna put down first so the barrel rolls smoothly. So we're gonna get those casters in, get the barrel in, and then we'll put our next set of supports and then we'll put uh, the casters for the top barrel. camera then. You're doing it. Yeah. I'm doing it. This is happening. What would we do without the tripod? Or what is that? It's yes, a it's a tripod. Good thing we got blueberries this weekend because blackberries are pretty slim picking. So were the blueberries. That's true. End of the season and it hasn't been very hot. So uh, we had a great walk this morning. Our Sunday morning walk was very nice. Minnie is very happy to be at Starbucks. Nice and cool. Had her triple filtered water. Yes. 
we want to uh, kind of give you a cost breakdown anytime we do a, uh, a project it's always good to know like how affordable is this because that's got to be one of our things if it's a life hack not first of all the wood which again anytime you can get reclaimed wood it's really healthy for the environment a lot of wood that people get rid of just goes to a landfill and it's a waste and most of it's perfectly good this, on our total amount here uh we'll put it up for you uh lumber zero dollars uh, we got two rain barrels, or I guess they're not really rain barrels, but they're like food, food grade containers. Yeah. Again, you want to make sure you're getting food grade. Even though this is not something you're going to eat, it's going in your compost. You just don't want chemicals in there. So don't get anything that's had chemicals in it. Get something that's food grade, something you could eat if you had to. Um, I think these containers have like... Orange soda Orange in soda. <laughs> so everything <laughs> smells like... Our kids are like, hmm, smells really good back here. <laughs> So those were 20 bucks a piece. So our total so far is $40. Um, as far as the nails, we had all the nails and hardware, although we did have to look. We were, yeah, we were really running. were digging through the bin, but we found every last one, didn't have to buy any. We're running slim on hardware. So we our next builds might have some hardware cost into them, but $0 for that. We did have to buy um, fasteners. fasteners. I had, I had two of the um, hinges, but I had no fasteners. Those fasteners are really worth having just so you can close things up. Uh, especially if you're putting food in them, you don't want to get any rodents or anything in them. Uh, the hardware was $4.50. We have two sets of them. So a total of $49 so far, if I'm doing my math right. And is there anything else? There's, we also have some screen mesh material. Um, you're gonna see that today when I build the second uh, composter. That's right, I haven't built one yet. So you'll have to see how that goes together. <laughs> I forgot, I built one, but you haven't seen it being built, so. But we've had the screen mesh for a while. It's, it's just, been kicking we around. keep yeah. using just little bits of it, so. Uh, oh, and the last thing is you need, um, I'm not sure what they call these. I guess they'd be like, Part of a tumbler you need fins in a tumbler so to get the dirt moving when you rotate uh, a, a barrel that has used for compost the, the dirt's just going to kind of roll around in there and you actually want to flip the dirt over like so in I'm, your dryer exactly your dryer has yeah so i'm going to show you how to put some fins in i'll probably use some pvc pipe um oh or remember the old shelf we had out there yeah we've if you watch episode whatever that was, five or six, uh, I had a whole bunch of tubes and I said this will probably reappear in, in another episode. Well, they're, they're probably gonna show up again today. In total, we're talking about $49 for two composters. So we're gonna yeah, finish our coffee and finish our walk and then finish building up those uh, composters. Wow, we're full of Well, between the two of them, we should have <laughs> something. All right, so we're getting ready to convert our uh, 55 gallon food grade barrel into composter. And what we're gonna do on this build, we're gonna cut an opening in the front, hinge it, latch it, and then we're also gonna uh, put some vents, uh, one large vent in the side and then a whole bunch of holes throughout uh, for airflow. So uh, the things we're gonna need, obviously the barrel, we need some of this uh, mesh screen you can use, like probably need to be tighter than chicken wire. This is for like replacing screen door material or um, uh, like window screens. Um, we're gonna need some PVC pipe or something like it. These are actually the tubes that we had from that uh, shed build that we did uh, a couple weeks ago that I thought would show up again. So we'll get two of those. And then the tools you're gonna need, obviously tape measure, drill, and we'll need a sawzall. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna mark out the door and we'll get that cut. I got the door marked out. We're gonna go ahead and cut this out. Uh, but before we cut it, we have to drill holes so we can fit our saw blade in. Now, if you're using a jigsaw, you can just use a regular small jigsaw blade like this one here. If you're using a sawzall, try to get a small jigsaw blade like this to start with. Um, and then start your cut and then uh, you can switch to the regular sawzall side blade It'll make it go a lot faster and you get a little cleaner cut. I think too um, We're gonna start with a 3 8 inch We don't want to go too big on the drill because I just want to be able to get this guy in and then switch over to the larger blade
that are completed compost you'll know that there's one cap that's missing you got a vent in here you'd actually vent both caps if you want i just felt like that was more than enough to just vent one um, so i'm going to do is i'm going to tighten this up so it doesn't leak if there's any liquid in there when we put the compost in and then we're going to put our screen mesh over the top of this one we're going to put the screen across the inside you can see these four bolts here it is i drilled some holes just pushed it through the screen put a washer on the other side and then cranked it down so we're just going to do the same thing here we're going to drill four holes um, we're also going to drill a whole bunch of holes uh, on the barrel itself and those are for ventilation you can kind of see them here um, there's a whole bunch of rows of them all the way across every about 12 inches there's one there's one those are quarter inch holes and you have uh, stuff decomposing there's a whole bunch of chemical reaction chemical reactions going on you want all that uh, any gas that's being produced to be able to outgas easily Now we're going to take our tubes and make them into fins or scoops. claws or scoops. Something. We're going to just cut them in half and then, uh, then we'll be able to bolt them to the inside of our barrel. So let's go cut them in half. Now we are ready to fit the door back on there. Um, so it's always good to make sure when you take it off, you know which way it goes on, because you put it on that way, unless you cut it absolutely perfectly, it won't go back together right. I've got a door hinge from an old door here. So we're gonna use one of these guys. And we're basically just gonna place it on there, drill the holes, set it. And then I've got some of these. Um, last night we got some more of these uh, trunk latches and we're going to use those at the top so we'll get them put in So, it's been a busy day. Yes. <laughs> it was a long day, we did a lot. You did a lot of cooking. I did a lot of cooking. And uh, we did a lot of work outside. Got the uh, composter done, so that's nice to get done. Yes. And went for a nice long walk, that was really good. And ended at Starbucks. Ended at Starbucks, so it was a good week. It's always a good walk. That is always a good walk. We are, as you can see, uh, now relaxing in the movie room watching some football because it's Sunday and we are ready for fall even though <laughs> it's still technically summer but you know NFL starts a little early we like to watch football but we're not like huge single team fans we mostly like to watch football because it gives us an excuse to lay on the couch for hours do nothing on Sunday yeah <laughs> and don't get us wrong when we say movie room it just means that one of our bedrooms in our house has a big couch in it Right. With a giant screen TV, so we like a it's big not TV. as fancy as it sounds. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we just wanted to thank you for coming along this week. I hope you learned a lot about composting, and uh, we're gonna have some more um, videos next week. Next week, we have got, got a big project starting. 
Bum, bum, I forget, bum. what is it? It's a secret, we can't tell them yet. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell you later when this is done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a big project coming up. You don't want to miss it. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribing, make sure to hit that bell so you get notified when we are doing the next video so you can be like us, unplugged, living healthy, uh, affordable, clean, and simple with all the life hacks we're going to give you. But for right now, we're going to say... Good night. Going to watch some football.